Hello everyone, I am Jennifer. Welcome to the final video of the Junior Block series. Let's quickly have a look at the DIY activity of the last video. Here, we just had to add another sound in place of the piano sound that we used for our activity. To add chop sound, first select the sound category blocks. Click on the add sound button and then select chop sound from the library. Replace the set instrument and play note block with this block. Now you can see chop sound in the drop down of the play sound block. Click on play. Did you hear that? We changed the sound. Today we will step into the world of scenes and make our game even cooler. But first, let's see all the fun things we have done so far. We have done so many things, haven't we? We added backdrops, made Toby move and control him too. We also made the bananas drop, heard them pop and even added music when Toby catches them. Now, let's see all of it in action one more time. We have already learned to add multiple sprites in a scene in our previous video. Now we will see how to add a new scene all together. But what are scenes? Scenes are like different pages in a book or a different place in a movie or a story. Each scene has new surroundings and characters. In Junior Blocks, you can add scenes where we will add new sprites, blocks and backdrop. It's like moving from one room to another in a big magical house. Today, we will learn how to add a new game over scene, making it more like a video game. First, click on this Add New Scene button in our editor space, below the sprites area. This will add a new scene. Now, we will pick a backdrop from our library. Click on this icon to go to the library. Choose a backdrop for this new scene. I'll choose a cool night sky named stars. Next, we will rename this scene as game over from here. When Toby drops the banana, it will be the end of the game. So, we need our game to show this game over scene when bananas touch the ground. To switch the scene, first go back to the previous scene and select banana sprite. Select start on touching object event block. Choose the bottom edge option given in the block for the bananas touching the ground. Now select control category blocks, drag this change scene block and snap it to start on touching event block and select game over from the drop down. Ok, now let's make a way to play the game again. First, we will delete Toby because we don't need him in this scene. Bye bye Toby. Now click on add sprite button and select this button sprite from the library. Now we want to add play again text over it. So go to paint, select this C icon, now write game over. And below that add another word play again and drag it on the button sprite and go back. Now you will see this scene when the game is over. But we also want to restart the game after clicking this button, right? So we will use the sprite clicked event block. Go to the event category blocks and drag this block. Now add the change scene block from the controls block. Select jungle from the drop down to go back to the main game when clicked. Let's see everything in action. 
click play. Get all the bananas for Toby. Toby is so hungry. Do not drop any bananas. But what if it drops? Uh oh. <laughs> no worries. Just click on this play again button and start playing it again. Woohoo! Time for the last DIY project of this series. We want you to make your own story or a game. You can use whatever we have learned so far in this series. Maybe start with a sunny park and then let it rain. Be creative and remember to submit your creations to be showcased using the link in the description or scan this QR code. Wow, we have learned so much in so little time. I can't wait to see you all come up with your own stories and games. Until then, keep exploring and don't stop creating in Junior Blocks. Goodbye.